I'm Sai Kiran, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to schedule Amazon Relational Database Service MySQL bin log files to be uploaded to Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. You can use MySQL bin logs during the recovery operations. By default, you cannot copy bin log files from an Amazon RDS for MySQL database instance to a S3 bucket that you choose. To save bin logs, you must first enable bin log retention. Then you can download the bin log files to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Finally, you can sync the files to an S3 bucket by using a cron job. Step one, create the database. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS console. Then select the databases pane on the left. Create a new database using the Create Database button. I'm using a pre-existing database for the activity purposes. Step two, create the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud console. Then select the instances pane on the left. Create a new EC2 instance of your choice using the launch instance button. I have already created a Linux instance to connect to. After selecting the instance ID, choose the connect button. I'll select the SSH client method to use to connect to the Linux instance. To connect to the EC2 instance, I will now copy the SSH command and run the following command on the terminal. Step three, install the required utilities, MySQL and MySQL bin log. Run this command to update the EM primary package management tool. To install the MySQL client, please run the following command. After the command is completed, run this command to confirm that you installed the right utilities. Confirm and verify the output. Step four, enable the bin log file retention. Enable bin log file retention on the RDS DB instance so that you can access the MySQL binary logs. To do this, we will use the Amazon provided stored procedure. Log into the RDS database using the following command. Run this command to set the bin log retention from the console. Run this command on your Amazon RDS for MySQL database instance. Confirm that bin log retention hours parameter is correctly set to 24 hours or one day. Confirm and verify the output. Now, monitor the free storage metrics to avoid storage full scenarios because MySQL bin logs use the data volume to store the logs. Step five, create a S3 bucket to store your bin log files and AWS identity and access management user account to access. Navigate to the S3 console. Create a new S3 bucket using the create button. As you can see, I have already created a S3 bucket and I'll be using that for this activity. Now let's create a policy that grants the IAM user the permissions to retrieve objects from the EC2 instance and put objects into the S3 bucket. Navigate to IAM console. Choose users from the pane and choose add user. Fill in the required details for the username. Select your desired AWS access type. Next, choose permissions. Add the user to the appropriate group. Choose tags. Next, choose review and choose create user. Copy the credentials, the access key and secret access key of the user and store them in a safe place. Click on the user and add an inline policy for the user. Select JSON. I've already copied the required policy. Note that this policy allows this user to put objects in the S3 bucket that we just created. Fill in the details in the policy name and then create policy. Now navigate to the S3 bucket. 
Choose the bucket that you created for this activity. Choose the permissions tab, scroll down to the bucket policy and then choose edit. Here I have already copied the required bucket policy that allows the user that we created earlier to use get bucket location, list bucket and get object on the S3 bucket. Verify and confirm the policy and then save changes. Step 6. Install the AWS command line interface and configure the AWS command line interface. Install the AWS command line interface. Configure AWS CLI by using either of these commands. AWS configure or edit the following files. Step 7. Download the RDS binlog to S3 script from the GitHub website. The link to the script can be found on the Knowledge Center article. After you download the script, Provide the required details in the script. Confirm and verify the details in the script. Mark the script so it can be run by providing the right permissions using the following command. Run the script. Note that binlog files will be downloaded and synced to the S3 location. Step 8. Set a cron job to sync the binlog files to the S3 bucket. To set up the cron job, run the following command. Press I to insert into the file. Configure the job based on your requirement. For this video, I am configuring a cron job for every day using this command. Save the file and verify using this command. And that's how you schedule Amazon Relational Database Service for MySQL bin log files to be uploaded to Amazon Simple Storage Service. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.